Time for our much-anticipated nightly visit from Joe Borgia, the Senior Vice President of Replay and Referee Operations, coming to us live from Secaucus, New Jersey, once again. Uh, Joe, interesting play from Atlanta tonight, a pass from John Walter Bradley Beal, uh, and Paul Millsap has called for a shooting foul. You can see the Hawks were very upset by the call. Take us through it, if you would, and why it resulted in free throws, or should have resulted in free throws. I think the Hawks were uh, upset on two fronts. One, they didn't think it was a foul, and two, they sure as didn't think it was a shooting foul. So we're dealing with a verticality play here when we're dealing with Paul. And if you look real close here, he jumps forward and towards Bradley. Um, it doesn't, he doesn't get real far because the contact's pretty quick, but he's definitely moving forward. So that makes it a defensive foul. And since Bradley caught the pass first, that's the start of the shooting motion because he tr controlled the ball. So this is a two-shot shooting foul, and it was obviously a foul because he was not vertical and moved forward. So right on both counts, personal foul, and it was a shooting foul. I get that. He was clearly intending to, to go up for a shot there. Then again, I'm well, not the you know, they, they, they complained, and they thought it should have been a side out. You know, it's funny how teams that, uh, that have the foul called against them do that sometimes. Uh, next one from Chicago. Jay Crowder passes the ball. It appears to be uh, uh, to Thomas, who doesn't see it. Crowder winds up grabbing the ball. Referees call Crowder for a travel. I guess the, the question here is, can a player start his dribble by throwing the ball out in front of him? Well, we have a rule that says a player may not to be, be the first person to touch his own pass. Now, there is some judgment to this play, but I think you can tell by Jay's reaction. He clearly was throwing it to Isaiah, and Isaiah doesn't turn around, and all of a sudden he goes, oh, let me go get that ball. But, yes, a player can throw the ball out to start his dribble as long as it is deemed the start of a dribble. And the one thing you notice, if this was deemed a dribble, he would not be able to go pick it up with two hands and then dribble again. So. Right. If a player throws the ball out in front of him, it has to bounce on the floor, and then they can either grab it and stop, which is one dribble, or they have to continue it as a dribble. They can't grab it and then start dribbling again because that would be a double dribble. That's but this was clearly a pass. That's kind of one of those you know it when you see it, though, right? You know it when you see it, and I think Jay, Jay sort of gave himself up when he went, ooh, let me go get it. Um, but that, that was clearly a pass. Clearly, Jay should work on his uh, skills trying to deceive referees. He should take some acting classes, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. All right, Joe, thank you much. Talk to you soon. My pleasure, Matt. Joe Borgia with us as